pick up. Be back in about 15 minutes. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. We're going to take care of this. You want me to come with you? No. Be right back. Right, quick, just hold it. Repeaters to the right. Come on in, move it. I ain't got all day. I wanna get back to my career as a Paris fashion model. Miss Turner, back again, I see. Ma'am. Look at you. Oh, hoochie mama doll. Hair all did. Mm-hmm. Nails did. Yeah, I'm gonna have a good time taking them off. Stack! Yeah. Come here. This one got frequent fly miles. Yeah, treat her real special. She gonna rack up enough points one day to get her a free roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Turner. You know the way. Yes, sir. Come on, miss. Why make it feel familiar? Why did you go back to bank? I wasn't banging. I was just riding in the car. Assaulting that officer probably added three months to your sentence. Man, three months, 10, 12, 20, what? What's the difference? I heard the judge was willing to give you just six months at East Lake if you gave up the name of the gun. Yo, I ain't no snitch, Miss Campbell. Besides, ain't nobody got hurt. I understand that, but if he were caught, would he have protected you? Have you learned anything since the last time you were here? Run faster, jump higher. Miss Vanessa Turner. Welcome home. Right this way. Room five, waiting for you. Still living rent free, I see. Mm, everybody ain't able. Got them sheets special ordered for you. Egyptian. <laughs> 600 count. I got the same cell. Denise still here? Yeah. Just like you left it. Your old cellmate is still around. Still doing the same stuff, smoking. Selling that heroin soap reefer. I think I know about that, but I do. But you see, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna find her stash, and I'm gonna bust her. Now, maybe... 
You could be the one to help me out today. Help you? You done lost your mind. Close five. They trying to flip me so they can lock up my man. Yeah, she got a man. Mm -hmm. So what they snap you with this time? They gave me a deuce. Damn, mm -hmm. two years for a man? I wonder if he was worth it. He was worth it. I'm in love, okay, girl? She in love. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> same old, same old over here. And we cellmates again. I heard. You high? That's what I do, Miss. <laughs> or did you forget that fast? No. But Miss Baker says she would knock you off sooner or later. Try getting me to drop a dime on you. Can you blame her? Girl, you was the only one that could find my stash. They searched my cell twice a week and couldn't find nothing. Mm. As a matter of fact, the last time they were searching my cell, I told them when they're finished cleaning my suite, there'll be a dollar on the pillow waiting for them. <laughs> Man, who you kidding, D-Night? You had a dollar, you use it for rolling paper. Ton, yeah. What up, baby? You back too, huh? Yeah, no, sir. They allege I stole a motorcycle when joyriding through the rich folk neighborhood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! You got something to say to me? You say it to my face. I don't give a rat's ass how many there are of you. Just bring it, one at a time. Who that? Some half crazy new white girl. Yeah, man, she's something else. She ain't scared of no one, not even the sisters. Mm -hmm. So you know she bad as hell. Or just crazy as hell. I think she killed somebody. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? She has a rash. Really? Really, she does. Why? Why does she have a rash, Maria? Did you give her milk? Maria, you know she can't have any milk. She's allergic to milk, Maria. I couldn't find the other stuff. The other stuff is called soy, and it's right next to the milk, Maria. It's okay, baby. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. You smoking pipe again? She didn't say anything. You're the one that's in here for selling it. Okay. I was so messed up, yo. I was really, really tore up that I had to throw myself out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you tripped out. You tripped out. You tripped out. I know you, I know what you're thinking. But just leave it alone. We got a truce going on. You just stay here. I'm gonna check on my inside girl. Not today, Nessa. I got cramps. What the hell? It's on. Dead, right? Mm. Oh. We could 
killed it. Someone gets hurt. You're at the point, Lieutenant Stackhouse? Listen to me. These girls are pissed off enough already. They just calm down. Help Daniels to the infirmary. Try me, girl. Try me. You'll do this with Daniels, but try me. I want you to get up. I want you to get up. Come on, come on. You got something to say? Come on. Go on, Sure do. I seen you run. Yo, Mr. Stack, Mr. Stack, no, for real. Yo, yo, don't put me in there. My man's coming to see me tomorrow. Mm. Man, for real, Should've I gotta see you about tomorrow. That before you started fighting. Mr. Stack, you need a one that started a little time ago. Oh, Lights God. out. You, you know what? You don't even care. A lock in a sock. How did an inmate get access to a combination lock? Oh, come on, Baker. That's just a way not to deal with we them, right? We need to ship 20 or 30 girls out of here, at least. There will not be any mass transfers. I want a 48-hour lockdown and a dorm-to-dorm -dorm check. I will not tolerate any violence in my facility. Not inmate on inmate, not inmate on staff, and not staff on inmate under my watch. I was not brought here to keep the status quo, and there will not be any lawsuits with my name on it. Is this clear? Lock it down. Sergeant Daniels is going to pull through, but she was very lucky. Hmm. Now, I want to know what we're going to do about today's fight, because I do not want this to get out of control. Gatesville, that'll set them straight. Gatesville? Gatesville. Look, Superintendent Flores, these kids can't handle Gatesville. Three juvies tried to kill themselves last year at Gatesville, and one of them made it. Now, the state allows the M cases to remain here till the age of 25 for a reason. The state allows us to use our discretion when it comes to dealing with wards mm. who pose a threat to the facility. This wasn't the first time for Turner or Williams, and it won't be the last. That'll make your job a lot easier, wouldn't it? This job is never easy. Why don't you go ask Sergeant Daniels about that? You know as well as I do that we're these girls' last, best hope to make something of their lives. And one of ours almost died here today, Lieutenant Stackhouse. I won't have that. And you shouldn't, Superintendent, you shouldn't. But these girls belong to us as well. We shouldn't just run away from any challenges. We should exhaust ourselves trying to find different ways to reach these girls. Like sending a troublemaking asses to Gatesville, oh. like I say. You know, you're starting to sound like a broken record. You should start concentrating on your wing in this prison. Now, by the end of tomorrow, I want a proposal on my desk from both of you, suggesting how we can do more for these girls. 
Attention all officers, prepare for full facility lockdown. Mm. Attention all officers, prepare for FFLD. Nessa, your toilet working? I don't know. I ain't even blushing. Vanessa, you all right in there? Yeah, I'm all right. You know I can handle it. That's right, play girl. This ain't crap. Just keep telling yourself this ain't nothing. Yeah, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. Why running? My daughter ran track. I know that. And she was AAU champion two years in a row. I trained her. Yeah, I know that too. Yeah. The streets almost got her, but uh, running saved her. Not just running soup, it's a way to reach them. I mean, that's the goal, right? Even if we reach one, keep one from throwing away their life. I hear you. But if you're looking for a physical activity to redirect their aggression, We've got baseball and basketball here, two team sports, and those aren't working either. Yeah, but running is different. On that side. No, running is in a world of its own. The team part of running is great, but it's the individual aspects of it that sets it apart from any other sport. As a runner, you learn something about yourself, something about your soul. Well, come on, so just give me this one thing, okay? I promise I won't ask for anything else. <laughs> I'll give you permission to see if this is something that the girls would buy into. OK, I'm going to need equipment. I'm going to need running shoes, well, starting well, blocks. Well, slow down, slow down. You're getting way ahead of me. All right, don't worry. You'll catch up in time. How many girls do you think you can get involved? I don't know. Um, about a dozen. You double that, and I'll see what I can do. All right, done. Look, um, Tracy Williams was transferred to Gatesville last night. And if I don't see an improvement in Vanessa Turner, and I mean a significant improvement by the end of the month, she will be joining her. Any of you girls want to join a running team? Anybody want to learn how to run? Hey, come here. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. Good. Want to join a running team? Hey, don't leave me hanging like that. Anybody want to join a running team? Door. All right, Turner. Let's go. Hey, Turner. Well, I hope your cell's clean, because they're going to search it. Yeah, it's plenty clean. I just mopped the hell out of it. Yeah. I see that the detention cell hasn't changed your attitude much. Whatever. When I'm working, I like to be alone, you know what I mean? 
Feel free to take it as a hint. Okay, I got the hint, no problem. I just thought I'd talk to you about your transfer to Gatesville. What transfer? Nah, I thought you had to be 18 and go to Gatesville. Oh, no, used to be. Not anymore, it's changed. Gatesville is now an adjustment center, and you obviously need an adjustment. You know, I got a buddy that works up there. He said they cram 13 women at a time in a hot cell with no ventilation. Yeah, because Gatesville's for hard cases. I ain't hard like that. And you've been acting like a church lady, huh? I didn't say that. You know, Sergeant Daniels could have lost her life during the fight that you started. And it's not the first time you started something that someone got hurt. So you asked for it, and you got it. Now we're going to see what you're really made of. That's the transfer? You know, I feel halfway bad for you. Cause a lot of decent girls, of which you're not one of them, who deserve a second chance, get totally brutalized at Gatesville or leave in a body bag. Mr. Stack, please, I don't wanna go up there. No, I'm in here for no reason anyway. No reason? No reason. Ask around everybody no i ain't do nothing they don't send girls up here for no reason if you weren't in the middle of trouble then you must have been circling it you know this may be a reach but i might be able to squeeze out one last chance for you, but you're gonna have to work with me. Okay. Yo, Mr. Stack, I ain't about no snitching, though. I need some girls to start a running team. All right. Let's see if we can find us some drugs today, huh? Yes, indeed. I've been waiting to get up in here. Saturday night, huh? I mean, is this for real? Because I need to know before I join. Yeah. Movie and burgers at the mall every Saturday night? Oh, man. Vanessa! Vanessa, get over here. What did you tell them? Well, you told me to get you some girls, right? You ain't tell me how to do it, so I had to come up with my own way. They here? That's right. That's right. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Yeah, we're not running with them. Then you're not running. Got questions? Fine. I've got answers. But first, we're gonna run. Okay, line up. Let's run. Go. Run where, sir? Look, once around the compound is nearly a mile. Anybody who makes it back can hear what I've got to say. Follow Mr. Freeman. Let's go. Let's go. Great job, great job. Push through it, push through it. <laughs> all right. You all right, Denise? I'm good, Mr. Stack. Oh, probably gonna kill my cellmate, though. Sir. You okay, Renee? Don't I seem okay? You're not your, you know, typical, oh, you black know? Self. <laughs> No day of this program will be harder than what you've done today. And you all might be wards of the state of Texas, but out here, out here, you're runners, athletes. In time, you'll all find freedom in that and pride. The pain in your legs, the burning in your lungs, that's the price you pay. In fact, you'll learn to love it. You'll begin to feel the difference. You'll get stronger and stronger. Can we go now? Not yet. We're gonna learn how to run a special race. The four by 100 relay. 
Anybody know what a relay is? Yeah, where your man get it up the second time? <laughs> OK, Miss Mouth, over here. Over here. <laughs> Let's see you get excited about running around those cones. Nah, man, I don't think so. I just. Carmen, join her. What? What I do? Come on, over here. Over here. Come on, on the line. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, on the line. Yeah. You're going to race around the cones, all right? On your mark. Get set. Go. Go, go, go. run for you in the seat? I had a little help from Vanessa Turner. Really? Mm -hmm. How did you manage? You know what? On second thought, I don't want to know. <laughs> Just leave shoe and short sizes on my desk by the end of the week. Thank you. One more thing. <laughs> One more thing. When I was out here with the girls today, I had this crazy thought. I don't entertain crazy thoughts at the 5 p.m. I was thinking, what could be a better goal for these girls than to have an honest-to-goodness track? No. So you'll think about it. Oh, the silent treatment. That's how you're going to do me, huh? Don't take the whole candy store when you only got a penny to spend. Jersey shorts and shoes are from Superintendent Flores for making it through the first two weeks of practice without giving up or dying. <laughs> now that we got rid of the quitters, we're going to have some fun. Do we get to keep these? As long as you stay in the running program. Wow, they really got this for us? Yeah, yeah I'm sure Superintendent Flores would appreciate hearing how grateful you all are. And we're going to split up into four teams of four. You'll train with your team. You'll practice handoffs with your team. You'll learn to trust your team. And when I think you're ready, we're going to have a race. <laughs> yeah. 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 Before you touch these, I want you to understand exactly what they cost. They cost you showing up as a team. You fight. You give them up. You show up drunk or high, you give them up. But the biggest expense is this. You can't quit. By picking up this equipment, you're saying to me that you're ready to push through all the hard stuff. On this field, you're not allowed to say, I can't do it. And if you're willing to pay that price, come and get it. What are you doing? <laughs> Writing my congressman. What does it look like I'm doing? 
getting high. So the bat will kill you for making me run. Ain't nobody held a gun to your head. Nessa, don't mess with me. I'm sore, I'm tired, and I just want to smoke. Well, you a good runner, too? <laughs> Shouldn't be wasting your life. Yeah, but I ain't wasting my life. I ain't even supposed to be up in here. Yeah, me neither. And none of the other prisoners in the whole damn country. We all innocent. I don't even know why I bother trying to talk to you. Good. Now let me enjoy my heart. Yeah, well, never mind. Look. The race is roughly a quarter of a mile, which each of you running a little more than 100 yards. But now, we'll use this as a baton. You used up all the paper towels cleaning up after Denise. And if I come down there and shove it down your damn throat? All right, you two, all right, come on, come on, cut it out, cut it out. You have a space of 10 yards in which to make the handoff. If the handoff occurs out of that space, you're disqualified. Now. Watch Mr. Freeman and Carmen. Come on. Okay, you can do this. This is real easy. When I tell you to go, I want you to start running. Okay. Don't look back. Okay? Don't worry about him until I yell stick. Then put out your left hand. Okay? Okay. If the handoff occurs out of that space, you're disqualified. Now this is important. This is something you cannot forget. When I called go, Carmen didn't look back. When I called stick, she didn't look back. Carmen trusted that it would be there, and it was. Now you don't have to use stick and go as your calls. You can come up with your own. We had our own call when I ran in college. When was that? Like 1905? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I remember Stack was a player back then. He probably had all the girls in the stands screaming, Run, Stack! Run! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hoochie Mama. Uh, when you get as good as we were, then you can talk. And maybe I'll let you know our call. Okay, come on, let's see what you got. Come on. Enough baton work, time to sprint. No. Where you going, Denise? I'm done. You heard what I said earlier, no quitting. Watch me. Denise, don't quit. We need you. And the hell with you and Mr. Stack. Denise, just try to stick it out. When you're not high, you're one of the fastest runners. Nessa, open your eyes. Look at me. I'm not Jackie Joyner. I'm a drug addict. Denae, don't quit. Nessa, you're not out here because you all of a sudden found religion. The only reason you out here is to keep your ass out of gay sphere. I'm cool. Watch it.
touch it? Mm, you can't touch it. I mean, dangerous. But for a long time. Where's Renee? Dying of a broken heart. Yeah, they wouldn't let her boyfriend come visit her. Stick! Go! Stick. Come on! Come on! Stick! Give her a big target. Big target with that hand. Stick! 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 Hey! Hey! Oh! Stick! Hey! Hey, Mr. Stuck! Mr. Stuck, we got a problem! What's going on? Uh, Renee, what? oh. Renee, what? Renee, what? What is it? What have you done to yourself? What have you done? What's wrong? Freeman, call the infirmary. Call the infirmary. Coach, what's wrong with you? Is she all right? They say it's about control. Who says it's about control? People who study it write about it. They also say it's a way of getting high. That's silly. Don't make me high. Maybe not you, but the endorphins and shock waves through your body when the cut is made and you see blood. Seeing blood can be addicting. When's the nurse coming back? When we're done talking. Who's the baby girl for? My boyfriend. Boyfriend. This is my pimp. All right. You happy now? I ran away when I was 13. He took care of me. I was his baby girl. Tell me how he took care of you. What do you mean? Well, was he generous? Was he tender? A great lover? Did he read you poetry? Poetry? Tell me how he was good to you. Can't. Why not? He tried it his own way to be nice sometimes. Besides, he treated me better than. Then who? I hope she's all right. I know. What's one less that want to be black, white girl in this world? Yo, what did you say? You heard me. No, I don't think I did. Hey, say it again. Hey, 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 hey. If What's I say it again, hey, you'll be kissing me. Cut it out. Me. Oh, 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 Alex, cut it out. We've gone this long without a war. Let's just try to extend it a little longer, please. For anybody who cares, Renee is going to be OK. Why she gotta be so hateful? Oh, I can be more than hateful. Well, Alex, bring it Alex, on Alex, in. come on, come on, stop it. Come on, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. You know, you all act worse than the men. You blacks and browns ever come together, you can run the world. Get together with them? Not in my lifetime. Not in mine either. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. This is how we're going to handle this. Come with me. Come with me. We're going to settle this with a race. No, nah, I am not racing her. Why not? There ain't no competition. <laughs> I could beat that whole pitiful team by myself. All right. <laughs> okay, you heard that, lady? She can beat the whole pitiful yeah. team. Oh, right, then we're going to find out. Her. We're going out into the big yard. Let's have a race. Everybody. One of the race, uh -huh. you got it. Uh -huh. This is the starting line uh -huh. and the finishing line. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to say, mark uh -huh. that whistle. Uh -huh. keep my name out your mouth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This how we ride On your mark. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get set. This how we ride in the south. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, Vanessa, too strong out the box. Too strong. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. I can't believe she's going to race the whole damn team. All right, come on then. Come on. Come on. All right. All right, come on now. All right, come on, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, now you got to turn it on. Now you got to 
Turn it on. He's pressing now. All right, come on, Carmen. Come on, drop your arm, Carmen. That's how it's done, man. That's how it's done. Come on, Tanya, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Get back. Get back. Get back. Come here. We do it today. Right now. Remember, not in the face. Slice her behind her ankle on her Achilles. Let's see you run after that. But you were racing a tired runner, so your winning is nothing to brag about. <laughs> Both of you are good, real good. I mean that. Hey, listen to me, listen to me. Look at me. Look. What do you have to gain by hating each other so much, huh? Tell me. What do you gain? What? I don't know. All of that energy for a negative, you put that energy into something positive. I mean, you two can grow up to be something special. The last time I checked, both of you lived in the Texas Correctional Prison for Youth. So from now on, in this program, one team. We're one team. I got feel. I, I, I think I'm gonna be. So, so, Mr. Jack, Mr. Jack, Mr. Jack. Hey, hey, what's the matter? You, you all right? No, I did You okay? You got a cramp? Yeah, what's your leg? Right there. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. What happened out here, Lieutenant? Alex's crew set me up. It was a slick move. They faked me out real good. Superintendent, all due respect. Lieutenant Stackhouse's runners are walking away with the security of this institution. And that's a lot of risk for a bunch of wards who'll never see a race. I asked you to give me a suggestion, and you gave me none. However, you do have a point. Let them have their race, and then let's go on with the business of running this institution. And Baker, what Lieutenant Stockhouse needs is someone to watch his back. So now, that's your assignment. Wherever he's training these girls, that's where I want you to be. Yeah, great time, great time. 
If the girl anchored the winning team, what was the split? Hey, Keith, what you doing here? Your boss. My boss? Your boss. She called the paper, asked for coverage, and they gave it to me. Baker, do your job. How you been, man? What's up, man? <laughs> Man, right, some like of these win. girls can That's run. Yeah. Reminds me of when we used to stretch it out. Yeah, it'd be a good story, too. Yeah, you're not lying. Hey, I got some nice shots. You know, if you took that girl and that girl and a couple others... Well, I got one in the infirmary can really move. Man, you'd be competitive on a regional level. You ever thought about that? Yeah, it crossed my mind. I mean, let me tell you about it. You ran a good race. You too. I know you under a lot of pressure. Look, I got somewhere to be. Why'd you look out for me like that? Because you didn't deserve that, all right? And really, because I'm just tired of all the damn hate. Yeah, hey. So we cool? You seen the paper? The East Texas Correctional Prison for Youth Girls have the talent to win a formal track meet and they are ready to show it. Do they really have the talent to compete against organized track teams? They do, they do. But this article is going to get them to believe that they might get a real race against a real team. Mm -hmm. We don't know if we can make a qualifying time without the right team of girls. Well, then training. we should organize the team and train the hell out of them. Oh, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Uh, there's one more thing. I knew your welcome was a little bit premature. Now, our girls have never seen a regulation track, let alone run on one. So Wait, if you is would it let me... me or are your one more things getting bigger and more complicated? I'm going to take that as you really want me to leave right now. No more requests today, right? Tomorrow. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow. Thank you very much. Listen, even if you three ran the perfect race, we still don't have anybody fast enough to make the fourth split. Man, it's got to be someone. But what about Denise? Oh, she has her own problems. No. But she was one of the fastest. You're right, but can you guarantee she won't show up at the race high? I can't rely on Denise. Brought a Frankenstein in the house. Oh, I know. Oh, I was so high. I so high. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. When are you get released? A couple minutes ago. You feel like running? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> all right, listen, 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 all right. Look, we'll rest up the day. But starting tomorrow, 53 3. That's the number I want inside your heads every second of the day. And I'm going to tell you right now, we got a lot of work to do. 53 3. That's Let's right. Let's do it, baby. All right. We got that. 53 3. No one told me I was up for early parole today. You haven't had any infractions for a year. They consider that. Lieutenant Stack left your name out of that fighting incident. You should consider yourself lucky. You're worried. I'm not going to recommend you for an early release. I ain't worried about that. I mean, they gonna do whatever they want to do anyway. Can't control this. I mean, I ain't afraid of no failure. My record says that I'm an incorrigible, defective delinquent. So, I mean, that's all I ever been told was I was a failure. You know what, um, what really scares the hell out of me, Miss Campbell? What's that? Success. Come on. Hey, y'all, what's up? How y'all doing? Please take a seat, miss. What's up, girl? Hey, they called me in for early parole. I'm going home. What? 
can't believe you're just gonna leave us hanging like that. Okay, look, I got mixed emotions about this. All right, but please don't ask me to postpone my freedom for a track meet. Y'all, I don't blame her. If I got parole, I wouldn't stay a second long in this place that I had to. Thank you very much, Miss Black America. Now, see, when's the next time I try to cheer you up? Come, friend. You never cheered me up. What about you? I know you're not talking to me. Can you run? You hear somebody talking? Denise, you've been straight for a while now. That's only because I've been ducking and dodging Baker's ass. <laughs> Got a new package coming in now. And neither you or C9 Dog's gonna be able to find it. Denise, you are so close to kicking that stuff. Why don't you just help us out and train? There's the problem, Nessa. I'm not gonna train. I'm gonna get high. That's what drug addicts do. Get high, not run. You see that? She could kill somebody with that kid. Man, that girl's got skills. You gotta give it up to her. Them soccer players can run all day. And somebody's gotta try to get her on the team. Not me. Nope. I ain't messing with it. Nope. Nessa. Where you going? Hey, you, you crazy? Don't go near that girl. Nessa, you lost your mind? Just wash my back. Hey! Hey! Come here, let me talk to you. Don't walk away from me. Come here. Let me talk to you for a minute. What? Let me talk what? for a minute. What the hell do you want? What'd you say? He heard me? Listen, I just came over here to ask you a question. How'd you get so fast? <laughs> Soccer coach made us run track. So you in? I'm in. Good. Let me ask you a question. Did you really kill somebody? I said I'd run with you. Keep my personal life out of it. OK. My bad. I just keep running like that, all right? We'll have no problem. Good. Uh, I'll be over there with my girls, you know, staying out of your business. You do that. I can tell you this much. It wasn't my fault. I believe you. It don't really matter now, does it? Vanessa. Damn, girl, you don't look half as good as you used to. But they don't let y'all wear no makeup in here? Where the hell you been? <laughs> Miami, Dallas, Chicago. Doing my thing, you know, trying to survive. Trying to survive? Yeah, I know what that's like. I'm trying to survive, too. I don't trip, Vanessa. I'm here now, right? Yeah, you here now. After three months? You know, some of the girls up in here get visited every day by their man. <laughs> well, they must be some jive suckers, all right? Now, you do understand I got things to do. Yeah, I got things to do, too. Like, think about you every second I'm up in here. And now I'm thinking, you ain't even come up here to see me. You just came to make sure I kept my mouth shut. Look, I know you kept your mouth shut. Because that's what you were supposed to do. You know that. As far as me and you concerned, I mean, uh, we still good to go. No, nah, we ain't close to good. I don't even know what I feel anymore. What? I wasn't supposed to be in here this time, Greer. Hold on to this right quick. Just hold it. Because of you, I took a charge for you. A two-year sentence. You can't even come up here to see me or write me a letter or send a money order. You know, next time somebody asks me why I'm here, I'm going to say my only crime was wanting to be with my man. Somebody ought to talk some sense into me. I know what this is. You're getting all high-minded and philosophical because you've been in the paper. What? Yeah, I read the Jive article. Listen, just because you run fast don't make you somebody you ain't. 
Yeah, keep talking. So now I'm seeing the real Greer. So you run a race. What you gonna do when you get out, huh? Where you gonna go? I'm gonna be just fine. How? You ain't got no schooling. What you in here getting your eighth grade degree? I saw your sorry mother. She ain't even ask about you. She was too busy chasing rock. Thanks for the love, Greer. Look, just remember who you are and where you came from. I know who I am. That way, uh, you'll still have me in your corner. Because from the looks of things you need, I'm all you got. I don't need you. You needed me. You crazy. You needed me to keep your sorry ass out of prison. You crazy. I'm here because of you. Protecting you. No, you ain't protecting me. You ain't here because you ain't got nothing. You ain't never had nothing. You ain't never going to be nothing. Listen up. Superintendent Flores convinced the state to give us a time trial, but in five days. How long's Vanessa in detention? Vanessa's in lockdown for seven days. Yeah, I thought Sue Flores was behind us. Look, she's behind us 100%, but she's got a facility to run. But all she needs to do is let her out for one day for the time trial, that's it. She got in a fight in the visiting room of all places. For that, you get detention. We can't pull her out just for a race. But you know. You know we're not gonna make the time without her. Yeah, time is gone day after tomorrow. What are we gonna do? Look, I'm sorry, but... It's over. You know? Just be proud of what you've done, you know? No one can take that away. And I don't know what I'm thinking. I must be out of my damn mind, but what the hell? I'm a run. I don't care. Tanya, I'm running. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You sure, Tanya? And it's my life. Two more days in this joint after two years stay, ain't gonna kill me. You'd voluntarily prolong your incarceration to make the time trial? For Vanessa. For my team. You damn right. But only if I could bring my magic lipstick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this just lipstick? It's ruby red. Just remember, I never saw that. Okay. okay. All right. If we do qualify, if we post that time out there, will you let Vanessa back on the team? You Please. post 53-3 or better, and I'll consider letting Vanessa back Mr. on the team. Please, you know you can do better on that. All right, all right, all right. All right. You post the time, she's back. Did they make the time? No, they didn't. The new girl on the team couldn't handle the first split, so y'all were behind the entire race. Carmen had to do the fourth split, and she don't have as strong a kick as you. I let the team down. Let the team down? Girl, you did more than that. You ruined the entire program. Let me tell you something. The only thing I know about this race and stuff is what you guys have showed me, and I admit, I didn't want this program at first. But watching you compete, seeing the unity among you guys, it, 
That did something to me. Changed my mind about you girls. So Vanessa, I am very, very disappointed in you. But let me tell you something else, and I hope you take this as words of wisdom. Don't you ever let a man get in your head so much that you wind up hurting yourself because of him. It ain't worth it. All right, come on, let's go. Come on. Door. Mr. Stack, I'm sorry I let the team down. Tanya Ray? Sure did. I wish I could go. I've been clean for a while now. I swear. I know. You're looking good too, girl. Did you ask Mr. Stack? Yeah, but he said no. You know, I bet if I asked Superintendent Flores, she'd let you. No, don't do that. Might get in trouble going up for Mr. Stack's head. And he is a hard man sometimes, but He's fair, and it ain't like he didn't warn me. But he did cut me some slack. He let me back on the team. Now that you're clean, maybe. You... Ain't the same, Ness. You started the team. You were serious. You trained hard, and regardless of that fight you had. And by the way, he is lucky I was not there, cause girl, we would have both beat him down. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <I'm> serious. You're reliable, Vanessa. And that's just not one of my strong points. So I don't blame him for not letting me come back. I've been screwed up for a long time. And my way just wasn't working. And I realize that now. Damn. This is the first time I've ever been honest with myself. You be like Flojo girl. Kick butt. Bring back the metal, okay, Ness? You know I'm gonna try. Man. And just to think I was the fastest on the team. <laughs> what I was? No, I know. It's kind of. The moose I could brush my feet. What do you want? I came out here to say that I'm glad for you. You're glad? I'm supposed to believe that from you. And nobody's been messing with you, right? I mean, you haven't had any more trouble. Right? Right. This is who I am. I don't know any other way. From when I was a little girl, if, if I didn't have hate in me, get my ass kicked or raped, 
just for being so soft. There's another way. You just have to want it. Ever since I've known you, I thought you were a leader, but you're not. You're a follower just like the rest of us in here. I just can't do it anymore, you know? I have a daughter to take care of. And I can't let her grow up to be like you and she can't be like me. Represent me, corazón. Carmen. Can I have a word? Hey, Soup. Hey, Alex. You doing okay? Nah, you know me, Soup. I'm squeaky clean and filled with innocence. When I think of innocence, you don't always come to mind, Alexandra. What did you want to talk to me about? You okay? Yeah. Um, your sister's in the hospital. Is she okay? Maria overdosed, and child services has Where's temporarily placed your daughter in foster care. I'm so sorry, Carmen. Okay, we'll get checked in, then we'll go to the reception, okay? All right, come on. Just sit down, let's talk about this. No, I'm leaving. Yo, Carmen! I have to find my baby. Carmen, where are you going? Go. Go. Carmen, you cannot Carmen. leave this hotel! I'm Carmen, what? Where do you think you're going? going? Don't get touch me. Get away from me! Get away from me! From me. We have a race Just for run. Run. Carmen, Carmen, stop it! Run. No! You are not gonna jeopardize this race for us! You don't know what the hell I'm going to do! No! We started this together. We gonna finish it. I don't even know where my baby's sleeping right now. I'm in the nicest hotel. I'm sleeping in the nicest bed that I ever slept in, and I don't know if she has a blanket. They took my baby to foster care, and they may not give her back to me. Don't say that. It's not you, Carmen. I was in foster care. Yeah, right. Look, my mother had a drug problem for years. There was always the worst kind of people at our house. I was in and out of foster homes till I was six but they put me back with my mother. So you were six? So you're telling me I may not even see my baby until she's six? No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Look, Carmen, they could give it back to you at any time, but you gotta get out first. You leave this hotel and you go to Catesville. Then you're never gonna see your baby. All right, I know. We don't know each other all that well, but I believe. Your baby's gonna be just fine. Well, how do you know? Because you've changed. Most girls get stuck up in TCPYA, never change. But you had the courage to be different, to act different. Now, Carmen, you know you're the one who inspired me to try to stop hating? Yeah, that day you saved me from getting cut, yeah, I decided I was through with all that. If we ever want to do anything with our lives, we got to start now. I got to get my life back together. I mean, I'm smart. I can get a job. I want to be a good mother. I will be a good mother. I just got to leave the drugs alone. And you will. And everything's going to be just fine. Mr. Stackhouse. Yeah. Mr. Stackhouse, I'm Ralph Conley with the High School Athletic Coach. Oh, nice to meet you. This is Miss Baker. Could we have a moment? Can we have a word? Sure. Let me start, Mr. Stackhouse, by saying that I admire what you've done with your girls. It's, uh, it's very inspirational. But that's not quite why you've come to talk to me. No, it isn't. Truth be told, we wish you'd just loaded them back on the van and go home. Reggie. Go oh, now, Ralph. Let's be honest. The fact of the matter is, when the commission issued your invitation, they failed to consult the member schools. 
Now, there's a number of issues we have with allowing your girls to run. Such as? Such as the message that it sends to our teams. That excellence and hard work deserve to be rewarded. In light of the situation, the board is meeting in the hotel conference room tomorrow morning at 7. We'll hear opinions from both sides and make a final decision in the room. Morning. Well, we've got a busy day, so Braylon, why don't you start? Thank you, Ralph. <clears throat> First, uh, let me say that I represent every single coach, save one, here at the meet, and none of us have anything at all against Mr. Stackhouse. I think it's admirable what he's done with his girls. But the bottom line is that these girls are convicted criminals. The girls from the TCPYA team scheduled to compete in the 4x100 relay this afternoon are serving time for assault with a deadly weapon, prostitution, felony possession of narcotics, murder. Now, and what kind of message does that send to our girls who've stayed in school, made responsible choices, worked hard and risen above? Now, I think, well, I think the answer is evident. I just hope the board sees fit to rescind the invitation. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Stackhouse. I'd like to clarify a few things, if I may. One, Cheryl Richards did what tens of thousands of young people do in this country every day, drive a car after drinking alcohol. Irresponsible, yes. Tragic, yes. Her best friend, a passenger in the car, was killed. Cheryl's blood alcohol level was barely above the state's legal limits. What happened in that car was not the actions of a totally impaired drunk driver, but rather that of a concerned friend who turned away from the wheel to stop two of the passengers from arguing and then lost control of the car. Two, Rene D'Angelo was sexually abused continually by her mother's boyfriend. Renee ran away at 13 and lived on the streets. She eventually fell into prostitution. Three, Carmen Avalos was doomed from the day she was born. She is the child of two heroin addicts, and she had to suffer through narcotic withdrawal symptoms as an infant. She was selling drugs at 13 and using at 15. Vanessa Turner, who is, by any stretch of the imagination, no angel, but her only crime this time was simply being in love with a young man who didn't give a damn about her, a young man who shoved a gun into her hand while he was fleeing from the police. I'm not trying to defend what these girls did. They were all convicted and are serving their time. Now, Mr. Nash takes for granted that every girl is given the tools, the support needed to succeed, but that's just not true. In our program at the prison, we've tried to give them those tools. We've taught them about hard work. We've taught them about discipline. And for what? For someone to decide that they don't deserve a chance? Mr. Connolly, don't be the last in a long list of people to walk out on these girls. Ask yourself, what are you really afraid of? Let him run. You know, uh, I really do admire how you change these girls' lives. You got it backwards. 
All right, come on in, come on in, come on, come on. We got places to go, people to see, and a race to run. So come on in and look at this. <laughs> All right, this is compliments of Superintendent Flores. Okay, I don't know what painted nails and pretty hair has to do with running fast, but this I get. Hey, hey, listen up. Listen up, everybody. Look, um, I just want to say that uh, no matter what happens out here today, I'm proud of you. Second call, women's 200 meters. Second and, um, call, women's 200 meters. I'm proud of how hard you've worked, and I'm proud of how hard I know you're gonna compete. You belong here. You got your magic lipstick? How you feel? Like that one up. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and remember everything, right? Renee, hard out of the blocks but low, okay? And everybody, big hand, big target for the baton, okay? Come on, let's go get them. Okay, we got lane two. It's a great position. You can see the entire track. It looks like you're behind the whole race, but trust me, you're at an advantage. Okay, remember, deep, deep breaths, okay? Run the race, you know you can run. Line judges, please report. Lieutenant your Baker has something to say, I think. All line judges, please um, report to your position. Well, um, I just want to say. Oh, we love you too, Miss Baker. Hey, hey, hey. One more thing. What's your call word? Stat. <laughs> All right. Okay, you ready? All right, let's go get him. Hey, baby girl, are you nervous? Yeah. Can I tell you something? If I were running against me today, then I'd be nervous too. What'd you say? You getting smart with me? Hey, Renee! Renee! Hey, y'all better run it. You better get it out there. You better take it. I don't care what them other girls do. We'll be waiting for your team at the finish line. Runners, take your mark.
go for it, Vanessa. Push through the things that hold you back. You're a winner. It's all yours now. Just take it. Take it. Yeah, baby! Yeah! The last handoff occurred outside the zone. You know what? It wasn't Attention, even your fault. Coaches and I'm so pumped up. I didn't know I could start that fast. There has been a new decision by the officials. Lane two has been disqualified. Lane three is the winner. Attention, coaches and runners. There has been a new decision by the officials. Lane two has been disqualified. Lane three is the winner. You know what? I don't care what nobody says. We won this race. We won this race, guys. We won. We come on in, ladies. Let's move it. Come on, come on, come on. First time is to the left for orientation. Repeaters on the bench. Come on, we ain't got all day. Let's move it.
எங்கள் வீட்டில் இல்லானாலும் கார்த்திகை தண்ணி தானே இருக்கு 